Good day and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. So I wanted to uh, conduct a uh, a Ukraine uh, and Russia uh, update. And uh, this is not going to be a very, very long update. However, um, there were a couple of, uh, of things I wanted to talk about. First, uh, in terms of this ongoing uh, Russian military buildup, uh, it appears to uh, continue. There are uh, several uh, analysts out there who are claiming this is the largest uh, Russian uh, military buildup uh, on the borders of Ukraine uh, that has ever occurred uh, since uh, the 2014 fighting uh, began. A, another uh, unique uh, topic uh, that uh, is uh, coming to light is is normally uh, under these so-called bear scares or Russian scares when the uh, Russians conduct these uh, these uh, buildups along the border of Ukraine throughout the years. Uh, most of these forces come from either the Western Military District. Um, or the southern military district. But uh, now we are seeing forces from the uh, central military district uh, being deployed uh, to the border with uh, Ukraine. And uh, obviously this is a, a, a significant distance uh, to be deploying these units. And I would say if we start to see uh, the deployment of, uh, say, the, the 90th Tank Division uh, westward, uh, that could be a very significant uh, development, as that is a very large uh, mechanized uh, tank unit, uh, probably one of the largest in the Russian Federation. And if we st see that unit start to move westward, westwards, um, it could make for some very... Uh, interesting discussion. I'm still sticking with the fact that I, I believe this is going to be localized to uh, the uh, the eastern uh, uh, regions of the uh, of the Ukraine, and it will not result in an all-out uh, Russian uh, military offensive. I had uh, in the comment section there were some folks I was commenting with that uh, I had stipulated that you know NATO could not join. I'm sorry, Ukraine could not join NATO um, because of the internal conflict that was going on in eastern Ukraine. And that is, that's accurate. But uh, one of the, uh, the comments uh, was that did not stop NATO uh, from taking action against Serbia in the, uh, in the late 90s. And that's correct. That is absolutely correct. And I would also say not every uh, there was a comment about uh, um, Americans just naturally going along with the uh, uh, the current administration's um, uh, policies, and I can tell you back in in 1999, um, I personally uh, did not support the operations against Serbia, uh, the operations uh, to uh, uh, remove Kosovo from Serbia. Uh, I believe uh, Kosovo is part of Serbia, and uh, a, a lot of the indigenous population that was let into the uh, the Kosovo region, the the Muslims, um, were were granted that because of other issues going on in Southern Europe at the time. And uh, I uh, uh, do not believe uh, that that conflict should have been initiated, and and at the same time. Um, they are absolutely right in terms of uh, NATO did uh, uh, execute an operation uh, against uh, against Serbia, and uh, and that was being compared to a, uh, a NATO operation to support Ukraine. Um, I think uh, again, it, it's difficult to see that happening uh, because. Uh, it is of a different time. Uh, Russia is much stronger now than what occurred in the late 90s. 
So I do believe that if there is some sort of NATO intervention inside of Ukraine, specifically against Russia, uh, it is going to make uh, the uh, the operations uh, to uh, try and, and liberate Kosovo um, a uh, a walk in the park, so to speak. But we'll see what happens.